In this tip, I'm going to show you how to add an additional document library to a SharePoint team site. Now, the way that we do that is we navigate to the SharePoint team site that we wish to add the item to, and you'll need to have permissions to be able to perform these actions. If you do, go to the top right hand and select the cog, and from the menu that appears, you'll see that there is an option that says add an app. So if we select that, will now be presented with a list of apps and items that we can add to this SharePoint team site. Now, one of those typically is document library. If it's not displayed here initially, you can type in and do a search in the top here for that item. So in this case, we just select document library. We give that document library a name, and then all we do is we select the create button. We can go into advanced options here and this will give us uh, additional items here. One of the advanced items you may want to uh, have here is to determine versioning and also the template. But once we've done that, we simply go create and that will create a new document library for us, places in that document library that we can now uh, upload documents directly into. So the way that we created this new item was we went to the SharePoint team site, provided we had the rights to do so, we went to the cog and then selected the add an app application. From there, we then selected to add a new document library that will create a new repository for files inside our SharePoint team site.